What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. For today's video, I'm back with another stock talk video. And for today's stock talk video, we're going to be talking about the stock Plug Power, ticker symbol PLUG. And guys, for today's video, we're going to talk about Plug Power in the short term. I do believe in this company in the long term, and I have a bullish outlook on it. But in the short term, this is what we're going to talk about today. Why I believe that is a great opportunity right now based on our training and based on technicals. Guys, if you're new here, don't forget to click the link in my bio to join my Discord server and follow me on my TikTok account. Both of those links will be down in the description below. So this is going to be an uncut video. I'm going to be going through the stock of plug power so yes plug power has been on a massive run into end of 2020 as you can see here jumped up to highs at 75 dollars which i think was hugely overvalued we needed to pull back and did we ever we pulled back from the mid 70 area all the way down to the teens we pulled back all the way to about 18 dollars at lows now since then we've kind of created this um pattern we got going on here with couple lines that we want to take into consideration when trading this stock, which is our first line right here, this red line right here, which is our support line. This is at around $24.80. We can round up and say $25. So $25 area of support. This is an interesting area because it tends to bounce near this area. Three times, uh, technically four times it has bounced to this area. This is a nice area of support. I see it as being a great buying opportunity down at this level. Now our next line right here is our first resistance area, which creates this channel. Our first resistance area is where an area where the stock tends to try and break out of, but it can't. Now it did break out here, and I agree with it that it was strong enough to break through here, fell back below, popped up again, and then surged back down to the downside and couldn't break through here, and then couldn't break through on this candle day. So. Yes, this is an interesting area of resistance, and because of that, I need us to get over that resistance to break out even higher. So that's our next line, which is around $30. Our final line, which is our top resistance area, which is at $36. This is where we popped up to on this day, and we haven't been there in a while. So because of that, I drew this resistance line as a small resistance. Nothing hugely as a confirmed resistance line, but the more candles you have near an area that re gets rejected or gets supported is a better resistance or support level. So because of that, we have our first support, our first resistance, and our second resistance. So where we're trading right now is currently at $26.37. $26, I think, is a great buy in the short term for this opportunity because of the fact that we're going to be trading clearly on technicals. We're going to be taking $26 for our first entry, enter into, a small, uh, enter into a small position here at $26, and then average down until we hit this support area. If we bounce all the way down to the support area, we should see some consolidation. We may get a quick flush to the downside, but again, I think that if we can hold this area of support right here, this is a very strong and bullish area where it seems to bounce, okay? And because of that, I think we average into a position small at a time. And because of the fact that it was overreacted so largely to the downside the past couple of days, we've had three negative days in a row, very strong negative days too. I see that this area being an interesting area where we're going to be seem to bounce soon. Okay, so we start a position here on 26 hours. We average down. Now, we let the position ride with start to show signs of a reversal, and we take some off near 29 to $30 because that is where we seem to have some resistance. Again, not a huge upside of profit, but if you take into consideration, let's say we average average down to $26. Let's say downside to our support to our support level, we have about 5% of downside. To our first resistance level, we have about 15% of upside. To our second resistance level, we have 35 plus percent of upside. So there's obviously a lot of upside, way more upside than there is downside. But I do want you to take into consideration that the stock hasn't been cleanly holding above the support area. So if you're not bullish more longer term and want to hold through some of these bigger dips like you saw here, then you may want to cut losses as soon as it drops below the support area. But taking into consideration where we're trading at, I believe that this area right here is a great time to start a position in the short term. Again, I am long-term bullish on the company. I believe in the company long-term. But looking short-term, I think that it was hugely overreacted to the downside. We got rejected off this uh, area of resistance right here, which has been tested once, twice, three times, four times, five times, six times. It's, it's been tested multiple times. It got rejected to the downside. So this is a great resistance area, and this is a great support area. You buy it on here at support, and you sell some at resistance. If it keeps running through this resistance area, we're going to have a huge breakout to the upside. You saw what happened last time it broke through, and you saw it again right here when it broke through here. So this is obviously another strong resistance area that it needs to break through, and if it can, we're going to see huge gains from this stock. Guys, this is a stock of plug power. Doing some technical analysis on it is a great idea. Definitely doing your own research and due diligence before entering a position. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did, and subscribe for more content, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, everybody.